Hello, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I would like to celebrate the fact that I did hit Twitch affiliate in a month. It was like 28 days or something. And I owe it all to the people who watch. So that's, that's really amazing. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, but yeah, I am here today to give you 12 tips I have them, I have them on my notepad right here to hit Twitch affiliate in one month. And I want to disclaim this to say, first of all, like some people will have an advantage if you are like God tier at the game, if you are a woman, let's be honest, like I'm, I'm aware. <laughs> or, you know, if you're just an amazing entertainer, really funny, etc. So I don't want you to like give up on your dreams because you didn't reach something as soon as you wanted, if that's what you're thinking. I just want to give you some tips on what I did, what helped me, and yeah, work hard, be consistent. It's one of the tips. I guess I just gave you one for free. <laughs> but yeah, without further ado, because that's what the YouTubers say, right? Let's, let's get into my list. <laughs> so the first thing I have is Customize your channel. Oh my gosh. See, this is my Twitch. It's right here. This is just my about section. So I have these panels that I literally got for free. Searching free Twitch panels on Google. And I clicked on like the first or second one. And they had templates. A ton of them. And you can customize the words. And there's also like pretty much all the ones that you need. Also gaming visuals is really good for that. And emotes, not sponsored. That would be cool though. But yeah, customize your channel. Make it personal, make it you, make it unique, make it inviting. You know, if you would click on it, that's good enough, right? And don't worry about it like staying the same or anything because it'll improve as you grow and improve as a content creator, as a streamer. So yeah, but just make it look professional if you can. I don't really know what professional looks like. <laughs> My next is promo. You gotta self-promote on like at least two or three different platforms. I would say YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok are the best. I recently got on TikTok and the clips do get a decent amount of views. I don't know how many clicks yet, but you know, they do, they do get views, so that's good. I mostly promoted on Instagram and Twitter when I first started out because I had a bit of a following on Instagram. And to be honest, I follow for followed on Twitter <laughs> but yeah you can just follow people that have the same interests as you and then you know start tweeting your streams start tweeting about your streams use hashtags like live on twitch and stuff um, but bonus I would say discord servers they're self promo discord servers and they have rules on their channels so you can cross that bridge when you get to it and there's like a ton that you can promote yourself in so those are good i've actually gotten a couple people my third tip play games that you like but like play more mainstream games that you like because you could totally play a game that has like 100 people watching and get people watching but if you want to grow like more and faster and kind of make it a career you're gonna want to play they all say don't play oversaturated games so don't play oversaturated games whatever that means but play like popular games that people are into personally i like apex fortnite and multiverses so i play apex fortnite and multiverses you can also try out new games on stream you can take suggestions from chatters that's awesome i have yet to do that because I literally <laughs> like only played Fortnite for so long because I just got back into it. But I definitely want to do that. And it really helps for engagement and stuff. But you know, like I still take suggestions from viewers, just games I already have, which is not that many, but you know, it's something, it's something. Next tip, play with people. Whether it's your friends or your viewers or your followers, your family, whatever it is, random people, just just play with people. It helps with conversation. It helps, I mean, depending on the game you're playing with gameplay, because they're team games, you know, like Apex, it's good to be in a party with people. And playing with viewers and followers is great. Like I play with followers on Friday. I have a little follower Friday because I like alliteration. 
So yeah, and it, it that also really helps with engagement and people like to, oh, ouch. Forgot, I got a paper cut. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of people go on Twitch to like find people they like to play games with. So you can play games with people. You don't have to play games with people all the time. That's why I have my follower Friday. Or people can like redeem channel points. That's after they hit affiliate, that channel points are a thing. I'm pretty sure. But you know, you'll get there eventually if you try. Next tip, number six, have a schedule. Even if it's like one day a week for an hour, but like a couple days a week for like three hours, that seems like that's pretty good, I would say. And if you can swing it, do it more. Like I have a ton of time on my hands. So I stream like five days a week, five hours a day. And that works for me, but that wouldn't work for everyone. Some people could stream longer. Some people need less time. So do you, but have a schedule because it helps you stay accountable and helps people know when to come see you because your regulars will come see you at your scheduled time. So yeah. Now for how to be on camera, just be genuine. Like, you, you know, if you're a little nervous, that's okay. I still get nervous. I got a whole like ring light and phone on a tripod and a chair. My laptop turning off behind me. I was trying to like do something cool. I'm kind of nervous, but much less than when I started, you know, so it's okay. Just be genuine, be yourself, be positive. That was a different tip. So. Maybe, maybe we'll say 11 tips. Well, I guess I'll just do that next one then. Be positive and engaging was what I wrote. You know, ask people about their days, ask them how they're doing, encourage them if they're down, that kind of thing. You don't have to be like babying everyone in your chat or anything like that. Just like, you know, just be a friend. Tip number eight, because to be positive and engaging was seven. <laughs> Tip number eight is have role models. Now, I think just having role models in general is good, but also stream role models. You don't need to like impersonate them or anything. Just like kind of see what their channels are like, how they interact with people, what their personalities are like, you know, whatever it is, just have role models. Take notes, basically. I'm still looking for stream role models, I'm not gonna lie, but I have been starting to go in like the browse section and just look at some people and talk to some people if they're like smaller streamers and just start learning. Start learning from other people on the platform because I was such a noob when it, I started out on Twitch. Like I, I had downloaded it, but I had no idea how to use it. I watched a Tipu stream like once. So that's my, that's my story. <laughs> Do challenges, like in-game challenges, like 10 bomb, 20 bomb, damage challenges, stuff like that. You can do in-game, like missions, quests, whatever, speed runs, stuff like that. Ooh, bird flew past my sliding door. But yeah, do, do challenges and have people suggest challenges. You can even do challenges like IRL if you want to do a just chatting stream. I don't know if anyone does like cinema challenge. I don't think you should because people were like dying from that weren't they never mind i don't know if people do like the lemon juice challenge anymore but like you could do irl challenges there's plenty of things you could do i'm sure you could come up with something <laughs> get friends to watch friends and family they can afk it they don't actually have to watch it if they do watch it that's even better if they play with you and watch it that's even better better <laughs> But yeah, it definitely helps because people watch what people are already watching and it will help you with your average viewer count much faster, obviously. Um, but yeah, that being said, like don't ever buy viewers or listen to bots and stuff because they will come into your chat and be like, wanna be famous. I can assume most of you would know that, but there are a lot of like, like really young people that wanna start streaming. And if you are one of those really young people, just saying, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Organic growth. <laughs> and my last tip, my very last tip for this video is be consistent. Like just 
stick with it. Even if you don't get to where you want to be in a certain amount of time, or you see the ebb and flow and you're like down for a while and you used to be up or whatever, just, just be consistent, just stick with it, you know? Goals should be things that are in your control, like sticking to your schedule or making sure to be posting on other social medias a certain amount of times a week or day. Even like engaging with your Discord, which is another thing that you should definitely have if you're streaming, if not just for general updates. It's just nicer to have that tighter knit community of people who do join your Discord, because not everyone will, you know? Not everyone will join the Discord. Them some OGs who do it. <laughs> but yeah, I hope that helped. This was my first like sit down video ever, I think. I don't know. I hope you enjoyed it. I could redo it. Let me know in the comments if you loved or hated this, or if you kind of just like me. I just randomly came across you. I don't know. Um, you can check out my Twitch at bbchula420. You could follow me on Instagram, Sienna Samuel underscore. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, I hope it helps you. Stick with it. I believe in you. You're awesome. And I'm gonna peace out. Bye.